Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get load cell like brake performance on your Logitech pedals using just a 1 euro flip flop. Ok so before we get started, the tools you're going to need are a size 5 hex key, a size 2.5 hex key, a size 1 phillips, a size 0 phillips and a 10 mil spanner. Ok so to begin the disassembly the first thing you're going to want to do is take a 2.5 size Allener hex key and undo the two bolts on the brake pedal. With the two bolts undone the pedal plate will want to come right off and you can just leave it to one side for now. Now you can go ahead and flip the pedal set over so that we can get access to the screws on the underside of the pedal set. Now you can get to work on undoing all the screws on the back of the pedal set. Uh, there's a total of 26 Phillips screws and for these you will need your size 1 Phillips and a size 0 Phillips. Don't forget about the two pesky screws hidden underneath the carpet gripper. If you think you've gotten all the screws and your back plate on your pedal set still isn't coming off, then these are your likely suspects. So now that you've taken all the screws out, the back plate will want to pull off very easily, pretty much of its own accord. And that will now give us access to the individual pedal units. This is where you will now need your 10mm spanner and your size 5 allen key and this is to undo the nut and bolt on the red end of the brake pedal. You can now remove the red piece from the brake pedal assembly but do keep in mind when doing this that there is some oil inside of here so just exercise some extra caution. With that piece off you'll now have direct access to the spring inside of the pedal and inside that spring you'll have the infamous opinion dividing black rubber block. I don't have it anymore as I actually lost it a long time ago when I was taking the pedals apart but I'll put up a picture on the screen just so you can be sure what you're looking at. For now though you can put your Logitech pedals to one side and we'll start preparing our mod. This is where our flip flop comes in and we're going to start by cutting the flip flop. I wanted a more linear response on the pedal so I cut off the heel first as that's a carved part so that I could then access a more rectangular piece that I could cut and this will just give a, a nicer more progressive feel on the brake pedal. And then I just cleaned up the edges of the rectangle a bit uh, just to make it a bit more boxy. This doesn't have to be perfect or anything and only a reasonable level of accuracy is required. I trimmed it back some more and decided on a length of about 35mm. This will be too long for you as you will also have to take into account the length of the original rubber block also. Try and make it so the length of the original rubber block and your section of flip flop is 35mm combined. If this makes it too hard to try to compress the brake enough on reassembly to put the brake back together, keep shaving 1 or 2mm off the flip flop section until you can reassemble it properly. You can now remove the spring from the brake pedal so that we can then put the section of rubber in the spring. Now, as I mentioned, I lost the original black rubber block, but to get that load cell brake feel we're going for, take your piece of flip flop and put it on top of the original rubber block inside the spring. This will give you more resistance on the initial travel of the brake and also the harder last 30% or so of the brake. We can now start reassembling the pedal by putting the spring back in the cylinder putting the red plastic piece back on and securing it back in place with our nut and bolt. Now simply make sure all the pedals are sitting correctly, make sure all the cables are routed correctly and none of them are caught anywhere and to tighten all the screws to secure the back plate on the pedal set back in place. Once the back plate is secured, flip over the pedal set and reattach your brake pedal. Now you are ready to remount your pedals and load up your favourite sim. Once I was in game, at first it took a bit of getting used to. There's two main reasons for that. The first is because I've been using Fanatec pedals for about the last year or so, and what I struggled with more than anything at first going back to the Logitech pedals was actually the throttle pedal, as it's just so light and hard to modulate in comparison to the Fanatec pedals I'm used to. Maybe a Logitech throttle pedal mod incoming? Let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys would be interested in. But the second reason is because I don't have the rubber block that you guys will have and I'm used to using a load cell brake so this was quite a shock to the system also. However, after about 10 minutes or so of acclimatization, I started to find a little bit more consistency. I was still by no means fast but again this was more down to the throttle than anything else. And I'm sure with the improved brake feel that you will now have, this mod will help a lot of you save a few valuable tents each lap. This is a very simple and cheap mod. The flip flop that I sacrificed cost a measly 1 euro and we all know there isn't many sim racing mods available for that kind of money. Anyway that's it for today's video guys, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this, please like, comment your thoughts on the mod down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye for now guys, see you all in the next one.